more to talk about in the coming weeks for sure. Thank you. My friend Mike Allen likes to say about the juiciest of scoops that they are important if true. And this new information on COVID is terrifying if true. A non-published study indicates the Pfizer vaccine is only 42% effective. You heard that right. In infections where the Delta variant is dominant, just 42, that's down from 90 plus percent. It's based on preliminary data from July. Joining us now, someone to tell us about this, Assistant Professor of Clinical Medicine at Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Dr. Christopher Thomas. Uh, doctor, is that number as terrifying as it sounds? Good evening, Leland. To be honest, I woke up this morning, read the paper, and had some fear myself. I'm a critical care provider. I read it. I received the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, that was frightening information to me, but I almost allowed myself to be duped by medical misinformation. So I did what medical scientists do and went and read the paper this morning. And once you get out of the headline generation, you actually read the paper. And what it was is another positive vaccine study. 85% of the patients who took the Pfizer vaccine did not require hospitalization or an ICU length of stay. And to be honest, then I got in my car as a critical care provider, went to my hospital. We have two hospitals in, uh, in Baton Rouge, and I proceeded to look at the board. We have 115 ICU patients in reality in our hospital. Six are vaccinated. You can do that math. So 42% of patients who may require or acquire an infection that resembles a cold, to me, as an ICU provider is not news. It's not a headline. What is a headline is that when I walked into the hospital today to do my job, having had Pfizer, I felt confident having read the paper wow. that I wasn't going to be someone who would actually become sick, but rather if you look through that data, there were zero deaths. That's the point. The point of the vaccine is to prevent death. It's to prevent ever meeting someone like me. It's to hopefully get me out of a job and to hopefully get me out of the COVID business. I want out and the only way that's possible by this paper, it looks like, is if we take the Pfizer vaccine, you have a really, really good chance of not coming to the hospital, not dying, and definitely not being in the ICU, even with Delta. Right. I'll take that. Well, uh, doctor, as someone who met someone just like you, who saved my life when I had COVID, uh, I'm glad that I met them and hope I never have to meet them again. So thank you. Uh, nice to talk to you. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be uh, checking back in with you. Uh, excellent analysis. And uh, as you point out, worth, worth reading these studies beyond the headlines. Good to see you. Absolutely. Thank all, you so much. All the best. All right. Top of the show. You heard.